Apex platform is, is a platform which at this moment our people are used to work with it. And, and what's nice about the Apex platform is that evolution is done in that platform and that you can easily bring your technologists, your nurses, your radiologists on a higher level without moving too much on, on the system. The decision was made because the clinical needs uh, required a system that could both image uh, patients with cardiac CT expertise and patients with oncology. And we have to make sure that those patients could be in the same machine and have exactly the same benefit. So having a technology that could adapt uh, to, uh, you know, different patient characteristics is important so that you minimize the prep time for imaging. We can improve uh, patient treatment and, and that can lead to superior patient outcomes. We had limitations on our regular 64 scanners where not only from BMI, heart rate limitations, cardiac conditions, so a lot of these cases we, we couldn't proceed. With the revolution, we've gone completely away from that. We've scanned already a patient uh, 70 BMI, um, which would be unheard of. We can image with any kind of cardiac condition from AFib. We can image pediatrics with doses that are almost fake. We've reduced contrast dosing by 33% throughout the system. It's been able to solve a lot of challenges that we were facing prior to it, uh, its installation. One of those was lowering the length of stay for patients that required cardiac imaging. And so not only were we able to provide more timely service, our overall, the overall cost of care for these patients was lowered. So the modularity of the platform was one, also one of the, uh, the capabilities of the system that made us make that decision. We also had to choose a platform where everything was now totally made and already demonstrated so that we could take part in this challenge, in this adventure of, of building this new platform. If you look at the Apex program, you have the four centimeter, the eight centimeter and the 16 centimeter scanner. And at this moment and, and at this time in clinic, I think these are the machines you need to cover everything. The 16 centimeter, you really need it in cardiac imaging. You really need it in emergency wards if you want to do perfusion on stroke and so on. The eight and the four centimeter, you can use them for routine exam, but you can also use them in pediatrics and making them upgradable. This is really nice. And I think this was uh, for me the, the dream which came true.